Oh, right, 2011 Hyundai Tucson. This one is in here because he says the AC doesn't work. Much better. We're gonna check it out and see if the AC doesn't work. And he's also bringing it in for a check engine light. So let's check it out. No check engine light. No bueno. All right, so check it out. The AC is on. Max AC. Okay, AC. We'll put it on three. We're gonna stick this chingadera right here. How hot is it today? Like 80 something? It's not 100. So we got hot air coming out of the vents. The AC is set on full cold. Max AC, rear circulation to the face and it's fucking hot. So let's go check if the compressor is engaging and then we'll take it from there. All right, so the AC isn't working. One of the first things I like to do when I get an AC concern is make sure that the AC compressor is engaging. And I also throw on a set of manifold gauges. So you can see right here on the high side and the low side, we have about 110 of stagnant pressure. And you can see right here that the AC clutch all the way at the bottom is not engaging. So there's pressure in the system, but the AC clutch is not engaging. We need to find out why it's not engaging. So let's go take a look at a wiring diagram, see how this thing is wired, and then we can start troubleshooting. It could be as simple as a fuse, a relay, an open wire, or the compressor clutch itself. All right, so here we have the AC system diagram. This is our fuse box right here. We have a 10 amps AC fuse which feeds the AC relay. On the control side of the relay, we have a power feed over here, which comes from the engine control relay. And the PCM sends a ground on this wire to energize the relay. Once this relay energizes, this power feed is gonna go through the relay, out on the yellow wire, and out to the AC clutch on the AC compressor. Now on this compressor, we also have an electronic control valve, which controls the flow of refrigerant. Then we have a pressure sensor, which detects pressure on the system. So there's your 2011 Hyundai Tucson AC system. Let's go back to the car and do some checks. We can start at the fuse, go to the relay, depending on what we find here. We'll see if we go to the PCM or out to the AC compressor. All right, so we got pressure in the system. The AC clutch is not engaging. So now we're gonna go to the fuses and relays and do some checks. The air conditioning relay is right there. And the AC fuse, 10 amps, is right there. So I'm gonna start by checking the fuses, doing some checks at the relay. Then we're gonna do some bypass testing and we're gonna see if we can get this compressor to turn on. And we're gonna figure this one out. All right, so this 10 amp fuse right here is the one that feeds the AC relay. So this is our AC relay right here. On this style of relay, these two pins that are right here on top, that's your load side of the relay. The AC fuse that's 10 amps feeds the load side of the relay. Once the control side energizes, then that power feed is gonna go through the relay and it's gonna come out on this pin. It goes out on the yellow wire all the way down to the compressor clutch and that compressor clutch engages. All right, so I got a power right here. So this is the load side of the relay. That means that this one goes out to the compressor so we should have a ground here. All right, so now I got my test light on battery positive. I'm looking for a ground. There should be a ground here, which comes from the AC clutch, and we don't have a ground. So this is an open circuit on the wire from here out to the clutch. All right, so we already know that this pin right here goes out to the compressor clutch. We can actually do a resistance check from this pin. Power goes out to the yellow wire, goes into the compressor clutch, and back to ground. So if we touch this pin with one lead and the other lead goes to ground, we can get the resistance of the AC clutch coil. So we'll put this on resistance, we'll put this on ohms. When there is continuity, as you can see on the meter, we should have a reading with very little resistance. But if we go from that pin to ground, so there's an open either on the wire, on the connector, or on the AC clutch itself. All right, so down here at the AC clutch, there is a connector. Let me see if I can unplug it from here. This is a connector that goes to the AC clutch. If you remember from the diagram, the yellow one goes to the AC clutch coil and the other two wires go to the control valve or that little solenoid on the back of the compressor. So we need to check for power on the yellow wire when I command the AC on. All right, so I actually heard the relay clicking right now that I installed it. So that tells me the control side of the relay is good. 
Right now I have the AC on and I should have power on this yellow wire that comes from the relay. All right, so I got my test light to battery ground and we have power coming from the relay. So this wire is intact from here all the way back to the relay base. The control side is good. The relay is good. This yellow wire is good. Our problem is between this connector and the AC clutch. So let's go down to the clutch and take a closer look. Down here at the AC clutch connector, you can see three pins right there. One of them goes to the AC clutch and the other two go to the back of the compressor to the control valve. Now this valve right here, we're not worried about. The AC compressor clutch is not even engaging. This right here controls the flow of refrigerant once the clutch engages. We don't have the clutch engaging, so we're not worried about this over here. We need the clutch to engage first. So if we go to that bottom pin, that's the one that engages the clutch once it gets a power. So I'm gonna hook up to that bottom wire and we can do a resistance check or we can try to activate it by providing our own power. All right, so I'm connected to the bottom wire on the compressor and I have an alligator clip right here where I can do some testing. So I'm on the alligator clip with the red clip, got my multimeter set on ohms. And when I touch a ground, I still read OL. This AC clutch coil has an open circuit. So even if I provide power, we're not gonna hear anything. Time to get this compressor out. First things first, I'm gonna get that belt loose by loosening the tensioner. And I'm gonna be using my serpentine belt tool. Highly recommend that you get yourself one of these serpentine belt tools. Comes in very handy, they fit into tight spaces. So check the link in the description. Turn counterclockwise. And you can see that belt getting loose. All right, before you do anything with the AC compressor, you wanna make sure that you have no refrigerant in the system. You don't wanna pop it open and let it out into the air. You're gonna it up for the rest of us, okay? No more refrigerant. I'm gonna undo the electrical connectors, take it off the bracket, and the compressor comes down. It's gonna go quick. Four bolts holding the compressor in, two holding the lines in, and a couple connectors. That's it. All right, so right now that I have the compressor out, I'm gonna do that resistance check once again, and we're gonna compare it to the new one to see what it's supposed to be. We're taking the black alligator clip onto the housing, and this lead right here goes to the terminal that goes to the AC clutch, which is this pin right here. And as you can see, OL. All right, so now let's try it on the new compressor. All right, we got 3.5 ohms. That right there is a good reading. Let's throw this compressor on the car. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to charge the AC system up. But before I go ahead and do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put a vacuum on the AC system. You're supposed to do it for at least 30 minutes. But before I do the full 30 minutes, I'm gonna turn the vacuum on, leave it on for five minutes, and then shut it off. And I'm gonna test it for leaks to see if the vacuum holds. I'm gonna to continue to pull a vacuum for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up with a little over one pound of Freon, cause that's what it calls for. So I'm gonna put it under vacuum for another 30 minutes and then we'll recharge it and we'll check the temperature inside the cabin. Right, and it's been about 30 minutes and now it's time to recharge it so i'm going to be using this can that the customer left for me which is just about the right amount that this car needs what i went ahead and did is i switched the valve over to one of these and this is going to allow me to connect it to the yellow charging hose and this way i can monitor the gauges as i'm charging the system and make sure that my pressures are right where i want them to be i'm going to go ahead and open the low side all right so right now that it's under vacuum i'm going to take this chingadera and just turn it clockwise and that's going to allow refrigerant into the low side okay now the refrigerant is flowing in since i'm only going to be charging through the low side i'm going to go ahead and start the car so that it helps the refrigerant get sucked in all right we're going to start it up turn the ac on 
max AC, and let's go watch the gauges. I'm also gonna turn this thermometer on and stick it in there. All right, so right now it's blowing around 82.9 degrees. Take 30 away from that, and that brings us down to 52. So if we get down to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll be happy with that. All right, let's check the temperature in here. Ooh, feels nice and cold. All right, and the thermometer over here inside the cabin is reading 46.2. I'm happy with that. You want it at least 30 degrees below the ambient temperature and 46 is pretty cold. All right, so let's go look at the pressures and see what they look like. And the pressures are right about 30 and 150. I'm happy with those pressures. Those pressures are pretty good. The AC clutch is engaged. So I'm gonna call this one a fix. AC not working because the AC clutch wasn't engaged. <clears throat> but now we got it engaged. We got nice cold air down to 42 degrees coming out of the vents. This one's a fix, 2011 Hyundai Tucson. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.